So I bit the bullet after seeing these shin boards the last couple of years and I needed some new twin tips underneath my feet. I really fell in love with the vintage look of these boards and my kiteboarding partner Charles says they remind him of a 60's muscle car. I told Charles he reminds me of a 1960's muscle car. Sorry ladies, he's taken. Everything that I've researched has been very positive on the shin boards. So I also added in the Jackson foil board with a K foil and the shinster because honestly it just kind of looked awesome. My goal is to implement these boards in future episodes, whether the tutorial or their gear reviews, and I'm hoping that their performance matches up with their aesthetics. Because let's be honest, when you have world champion Mark Shin, who could ride a coffee table if he wanted to, and you have me who drinks coffee, it's kind of hard to know whether or not that performance carries over to the average OK kiteboarder. So that's going to be the goal in the future episodes is to see does performance carry over for my level as well. The only negative thing that I've recognized early on with these shin boards is the fact that they're causing shin splints because I just don't want to let go of these boards. So let's find out over the coming weeks whether or not these boards perform well for the average OK kiteboarder.